And we are back. What's happening? What's going on? So, back on Blood West, by popular demand, <laughs> aka not a single soul um, asking to play again, but fuck it. We're here. We move. Um, while I was editing the video last time, I noticed that um, I mentioned that it would be cool to have. I actually don't. I think I cut this part of the video, but I did mention that it would be nice to have a bone arrow. I really, I'd, I'd really like a bow right now. I feel like a bow would be kind of clutch. Um, because it would be, because there's a perk I think, um, to retrieve arrows or something like that. Yeah. So greatly increase the chance. So it's not confirmed, but, um, uh, basically I feel like it would so, it would save a lot of like ammo, you know. Um, and then I realised while I was editing the video that the first guy I spoke to up in the mountain actually had bone arrows for sale. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back now and see if I can buy one um, and then we can go from there. I don't actually know what my objective is right now, so um, my, my main objective right now is to go get that arrow, um, go get the bone arrow and then go from there. Okay, so it looks like I across this bridge um, going that way and I killed this guy obviously and I also killed that guy but this guy's um, back to life. I don't know if that's a thing for... Like, because I died? But he's still dead, is he? Or is he just sleeping? No, he's dead. And what about that one over there? Is he alive? No, he's dead as well. So, I think I read um, before that it said when you rest, some enemies may respawn. Um, but that said rest, it didn't say anything about dying. Maybe it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, some of these seem to be alive, whereas some are still dead, like that guy over there is dead, whereas this guy is alive, so. Um, so interesting, very interesting. So this guy, this guy was selling the bone arrow, I believe. Um, so let's have a look. So yeah, bone arrow is $70. Oh shit, I don't have any money. What happened to all my money? Did I spend it all? Oh, I bought this revolver, didn't I? Ah, oh, titties. All right, okay then. We'll we'll come back for it. So it's seventy dollars, and then how much is it for arrows? Sixteen each, or well, sixteen for eight. Okay. Right. Okay. So what's my objective then? So before I got the golden chalice, that's yeah. So I handed that in. So now um, I can do this guy's quest. Jim wants an artifact from a ruined watchtower. Will pay me. What does that say? Will pay for my trouble. Um. So the tower's over there. Um. And now I don't have another quest technically. The other one is, I should find items filled with curse power and deliver to the totems. I don't know what curse power is. I don't think I've got any of that. I don't know. I really don't know. Um. So yeah, we'll go to we'll go to Jim's quest and then we can go from there really. Okay, so I'm not sure what the best way to go about this is. Is he gonna come back? Yes. Oh. oh, you darn little. Can you guess my color? Curses upon you. Well, I'm dead. Okay, so now we find out what happens when you die, I guess. So, so far, you, you will receive one with every death. Three of them will turn into a horrible curse. You can resist the effects of a soul floor using potions and artifacts. Right, so is that what that is at the bottom left then? So I'd have to find out what that is. Does it not tell me? 
they were ignorant. Your experience gaining speed is lowered by 5%. The effect will become much more serious. So I can get rid of them then. Something's in the air. This guy doesn't have any potions. Oh wait, what's this? No, it's just resistance. Uh, purple revival. Removes all curses and soul flaws. Allows removal of cursed artifacts. Okay, so that's 200 each. Right, okay. So, okay, so we actually found out what happens when you die. So, at first, our first death in the first episode um, was obviously prevented because I had that that thing. I don't know what it was. I forget what it was, but I had that thing which um, prevented it. So, I've just got that half-naked lady alive. And then this guy as well. Is that another one? Yes, sir. More successful. Okay, so get a shot. We get her shotgun. Um, and there's anything else to look here? There's not. Okay. That's not a couple of bullion. I thought that was someone's hand. Ooh. A bowler hat. That looks like a bottle to me. That'll come in handy. Fair enough. Okay. Um. So the tower is to the right here. So let's go to that. So just unload these pistols for now, and then I'm gonna reorganize my inventory. Um, so what's this, the faster reload that comes in handy? So as long as I can get a Birdman in one shot, um, they should probably... What the fuck is that? What is that? It's coming. Okay, so he shoots acid. Okay. What the fuck is that thing? Is that a guy in a box? I should not have let him hit me. Oh god, I'm gonna die. This game's tough, you know? Oh my god, I've got no better idea of it. Um, so we've actually burned through most of our ammo already, which is, um... It's not great, well, I'll be honest. Um, to be able to... Ah! We should not have let him hit me, I'm on one health. I literally have no healables, like I'm kind of fucked here. I've killed everything. Oh, health. Nice. That's... That's big. Um, let me take that now. Fucking die. Oh great, there's gonna be more stuff in there. Yeah, there's already something there. 
<sighs> um, so what did he say? Time to bring this back to Jim. Alright, so I'm actually done. But should I continue? Is the question. You better stay there, pal. Should I go deeper here or should I just go back? I don't have much healing, I'm gonna go back. Um Because I don't really want to die. I'm not sure if I'm aiming for headshots too much. I'm be forcing that. Um probably hit a lot more shots if I aim for the body, but nothing seems to die yet with body shots. They all only seem to die with headshots. But um here we are, Jim. Good job. Give it to me, and I will pay you two hundred bucks. Two hundred is good to me. Remember, stay low if you value your hat. Be quiet. Okay, Jim, buy that stuff from me. Um, well, these only five dollars each. Is that even a use? Is it even worth picking these up? Okay, we'll go with this. Um, yeah, we'll take this back to take our earnings back to the guy and get a bone arrow. See if that. See if that like. If that's any good. Um, I could get the potion to remove that soul flaw. Um, but I'm gonna wait until I've got maybe at least two soul flaws. Um, to avoid getting that one. Um, I don't think it's worth using a whole like a two hundred dollar potion when you've only got one flaw. Righteous death. Okay, so let's buy a hunting bow. And let's buy some arrows for it. And because it's a big weapon, we'll need a secondary weapon to put there. So we could just get this regular knife. Is that the knife we started with? Because that's quite annoying, but fuck it. Um, so we'll put the knife in there for now while we're using the bow. In fact, what I'm going to do is rest as well. I'm assuming that's going to get my health up. Yeah, so that increases your health, so that's useful. That so that saves me from using um, health potions when I don't need to. Now I'm also going to see, see if this guy has a quest for me. <laughs> you you want to help? Take this packet. Journey past the tracks of fiery iron horse. Find a cave which used to be a burial site for many of my tribe. Leave it there. It will help the spirits, and if you kill any creatures disturbing the peace of spirits, it will be for greater good. I thank you, Tainted One. There is nothing I can give you, but I am sure you will find something of use in the cave. Okay, so it's along here, it's past the train, and then right. It seems. So this guy's respawn, so this will give us a chance to use the bow. So let's have a look then. I don't know how much drop off there's going to be. Not massive amount. Get back to hell. That first shot wasn't a headshot. It actually looked like the one it was. Um. Oh good ammo. Ah, so one of them broke. So it'll probably be useful to get that skill. Oh, we've actually got skill points, so let's get our retriever now that we've got this. Um, and then what else can we get? Fast hand might be good because I've noticed that that's quite slow. You're not welcome here. Okay, so it's a first time headshot. That's that's handy. Was it down here? Yeah, the quest is down here. So. Let's fucking go. And stay down. It definitely feels a lot more satisfying using the bow. Uh, when you get that. Oh, that's the cave. I thought it was just a dead end. Okay. Um. So he's coming towards me, but anytime I can get a melee kill, I probably should. Um. Oh, good ammo. I can probably get a mail on him. How do I cancel this? 
Let's put these together. Is that a way to cancel your draw? So you're gonna come back this way. It's not. Let's put these to good use. Nah, it's not worth it. Oh no! So I was gonna alert him. And it didn't, so that's handy. Yeah, that bandage. Nice bandages, more bandages, we love that. Can always do with some. Oh, there's a bull right there, man. Come on, we just I will need that. Oh well. Oh, gold coin, that's useful. I don't really, I'm not finding anything acid right now, so there's no point in using that. Um, and then, we'll just put more bandages in there, fuck it, why not? Um, so what am I doing for this guy? Sharon asked me to bring the piece to one of the burial sites of his tribe. Should, I should find our sacred cave and leave the packet he gave me there. Oh, there we go. So there we go, I've cleaned that. Everything seems to be more quiet and calmer than before. I'll pick up this silver mod. So we're learning more about the game. We've learned what soul flaws are. And we've learned how to get rid of them. Um, and we've learned that the bow is fucking glass. Ah, I sense the spirits of my tribe are pleased. Accept my words of thanks. You're welcome. May your footsteps never cease. Okay, uh, let me sell you this shit. I'm just gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell these. Sell that. And um, I guess I may as well just sell my bow. It's the same one, isn't it? It's annoying that I just bought that. I bought it for 70 and I could have got it for free. Ah oh, well. You live and you learn, don't you? Um, let's buy some more arrows just while we're here. As well. Just stock up on them because all seems good. My current quests are just to find items filled with curses power and deliver them. Which I don't think I have any. Like I don't Gold always breeds greed and attracts the tarnished fort is holding dark root of the curse. Be wary. The darkness flows deep and wide in that place. Anything else? Okay, so he's telling me about a tarnished fort. Um, I don't, I, don't, I kind of don't want to go into it just yet because I have been recording for 30 minutes already. Um, so I'm a bit wary of this. Um, this video being a bit too long if I go to the fort now. So what we'll do is we'll explore this little cave, see if there's anything going on in here, and then we can do the fort um, for the next episode. Although this cave is turning out to be fucking massive. Um. <laughs> Maybe we won't do this. So there's the fort there. I wonder if I can just speed run it. Nah, it's gotta be filled with like some special shit. It's a fucking fort. We'll see if Jim has anything for me. Let's see. When I am done with this place, I will go and visit nothing, pile. Maybe it's time to move on. Hey. Okay, so Jim doesn't have anything for me. Oh come on! I've done this. Oh my god! One and done. That was a waste of fucking arrows. Whatever gets the job done. I just not shooting straight. as the bull kind of RNG. Get back to hell! Oh you dirty slag! Ouchie. What was that noise? The fuck is that? It sounds like it's right in front of me. Or is it him? Totally him, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit, I've elected a few of them.
Well, how the fuck do I do this then? Is he going upstairs now? Let me down. How the fuck? I don't understand how that didn't break this thing. Should I use my axe? And then maybe get my pistol just in case. Where is he? Where did he go? That's not him, is it? Is he up here? Looks like he's inside me. Where did he go? I don't know where the big guy went. I must be him over there. Only one I can think of. Um, well, we seem to be safe here. I don't think enemies can climb ladders. So what we'll do is we'll just um, we'll call it here. We've made it this far into the fort, um, and then we can kind of go from here going forward. Yeah. So we'll just continue this next episode. I'll probably just play right away anyway. I'm just going to do this now, but it's going to be a different video for you guys. So, haha, you have to wait until I edit it, so anyway, thanks for watching this episode and um, get this this fort conquered in the next one, catch you guys later